Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Soumya Oja here with us, who got into J.P. Morgan as a full-time employee, and she did a summer internship with J.P. Morgan. After which she got a PPO, and she is here with us to share her interview experience, her, I mean, the whole hiring process, and her internship experience, and how she got the PPO. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Hi Soumya, welcome to my channel. Firstly, congratulations on your placement. Thank you so much, Ishno. So, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. So, hi everyone. This is Soumya Hoja. I am currently doing my BTech in Computer Science from Bellur Institute of Technology. I am currently in fourth year of my graduation, and I have recently got a, a SDE offer from JP Morgan and Chase. And now I will be telling about my journey, how I got an opportunity to uh, get this role of software development. Yeah, JP okay, thank you. Um, now you can tell us about your interview experience with you for your internship. Yeah, so talking about my interview experience, uh, this company JP Morgan and Chase comes in the fourth semester of your college, and they usually begin their recruitment process in the month of January, and the first round which they will be taking will be. Uh, Based on technical skills, so it will be uh, comprising of two sections. The first section will be a coding section where you will be given two coding problems to solve, and the second section will be um, MCQ type of section where you will be getting ten uh, MCQs, and these MCQs will also be based uh, purely on technical basis. So you will be getting questions like what is the output and all. Uh, these are the questions. And so, speaking about your preparation in this round, I will suggest that uh, they don't ask like uh, I will say the code questions are not too hard. Like if you are doing coding on a regular basis, and if uh, if you are regular in your coding practice, then you will be surely able to complete this round. Speaking about myself, I went myself without like uh, I used to do coding in my second year of college, definitely. But I have I did not prepare just for this test, and so I was able to clear this test just because I used to code on daily basis. So that can help. You don't need some extra preparation for this round. Okay. And speaking about the second round, if you qualify for the first round, then you go to the second round, which is a video interview where you will be asked uh, two questions, which will be based on behavioral uh, behavioral basis. So what we basically ask in this questions is like how will you behave in a particular situation if that is given to you? Like I was asked like if some of your friend uh, does not know a particular thing and you know that very well, then will then will you try to explain him or will you do the work by yourself and take the credit for that? So this was the question, and they expect you to answer and they expect you to show your team skills and all how you are as a person. You need to show this. And this definitely matters. It tests your communication skills, then your personal personal skills, your personality skills, and all are tested in this round. So make sure to be very good in communication. I will say in that round, and to speak positively, of course, that will help to you, you know, clear this round. And the third round, which is the final round, is the hackathon round, uh, where you will be teamed up. Like uh, this contest. Uh, through which they recruit people is code for good, and this happens all over India. So they will be selecting students from all over India. So they will group you in batches of six or seven, and you will form a team with them. And they will assign you a mentor from J.P. Morgan and Chase. Uh, basically, there are two mentors from the company, <coughs> and their job is to like see which member in the team is doing what part, and they will be judging you on all those skills. And so, on the day of hackathon, you will be given a problem from the NGOs, and you need to solve it within 24 hours. And within the 24 hours, you will be under total monitoring by the mentors of JPMC, and they will mentor like how much work you have contributed to the team. Then, have you helped your team members or not? So, not only technical skills, but they judge you on an overall basis, like how are your team skills. How are your coding skills uh, and all those things will be judged in this round. So I will say that just don't focus on your part. Like you have to do this thing. You must help 
your colleagues also in the team and you must talk to mentors you must make sure that they know what is your contribution to the team as a team member and all those things will help you to like excel in this round okay. and then finally you get a internship offer or if you are in fourth year you will get directly a placement okay so after this you got your internship offer right for the summer internship yeah yeah okay that's right okay then after that uh, you can you can can you tell us about your internship experience ah uh, yeah so speaking about my internship experience it was of two months and it was more like i would say uh, they don't expect you to start working from the first day they will give you i guess uh, three weeks to be appropriate to train yourself they will give you all the training materials and all they will ask you to go through all this materials and after you go through that material they will give you a very small small task it's not like you are working on a very big task and that too they won't give you in uh, on a like you're not working on the plot thing okay you will be making a dummy project Okay. which will be based on the training which they have given mm-hmm. and they will be judging you on how they how you made the uh, how successful you were in making that dummy project mm-hmm. and then you will have a final uh, what would i say a final presentation after two months in which all the new managers their manager everyone will come to that meeting they will see what you have done in your dummy project and they will be giving you marks uh, based on that mm. so they judge you overall like uh, how you trained in those 3 mm. weeks when they asked you to learn all those things mm. then how you applied your learning skills to the mm. work which they give you mm. so it's no like worry some or something that how will you work there and they give you everything and they guide you also okay so that's not a very some thing and mostly the conversion ratio is 100% so approximately everyone gets a uh, So you don't need to okay okay that's great and yeah thank you for sharing your experience now do you have any suggestions for people who want to get into jp morgan or any good company mm, my suggestion will be like uh, like uh, i started coding from like first year itself because i was not good and i know that i am a slow learner so i need to take i take things slowly So I knew this myself. So you know yourself how what kind of a person you are. Whether you are a fast learner or you are a slow learner. If you are a slow learner, you want to get a good job in the third year itself. You can start from the first year itself. If not first, you can start from the second year uh, latest, and then there are very good chances of you getting a very good inter- internship in the third year itself. And getting an internship is easier than getting a full time offer because during the full time offer there will be. everyone you, the competition is very hard i would say because everyone has prepared so well and everyone applies also because in third year many people don't even know like we we have to apply or not mm. like when i was applying many people did not apply for the same company because they don't know at that time that they including me yeah <laughs> but i had my seniors so they used to tell me so i had this guidance but i would suggest you that uh don't do this mistake you should apply from the third year itself and there are very good chances of you getting into that because the competition is very less so start learning little bit from the first year itself so that will help you to get a good offer and so in the end i would just like to say that i feel very fortunate to start my career life with jp morgan and chase and i hope that everyone gets an opportunity to start their career life at a very Nice, yes. a big company as they dream of, and my best wishes are with everyone. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Samya, for sharing your experience. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.